Hello everyone, my name is Jose Avalos. I'm an associate level designer community at Avalanche Software and in this tutorial we will learn about the Editor Manager, another one of the new creativity toys uh, we have created for Disney Infinity 2.0. Basically, the editor manager is a way so that you can force the player that whenever they reach a certain point or after going to store or whatever, they open up the editor, so or the ribbon, which is usually called this is what it's called editor, to place um, to place toys or whatever. It's a very um, specific use creativity toy, but you can still make some really interesting uses of it. So let's get started. I open up the ribbon and I go to Creativity Toys, which I am right now, and I'll go to the Editor Manager. So, it's right here. It's As you can see, it has the shape of the ribbon. So, let's place it here, and also, I'm just gonna put a um, text player for reasons that you will see in a minute, and also a button trigger so I can, you know, activate it. So, Let's see what kind of actions you, uh, we may have. So, new logic connection, and it says editor forced open. So basically, this is after you force the editor to open to a player, it will do whatever action it's going to do. And this is individual cases for when each player closes their individual editor windows. So let's take a look at how it works. So first of all, let's say that when stepped on, in this case Annie, since I'm alone. The only uh, action I can tell the editor manager to do is to open the editor. So, we'll do just that. So, as you can see, I step on the trigger and it forced me to open the, the ribbon. So, that's really the main use on how to use it. But now, what options can we have? For example, let's, let's suppose we have a fighting level where you give the players a certain amount of time to place traps using toys they have bought and you want to give the message hey place your traps so for that let's say for example new logic connection and once editor post open let's say that we're gonna put some uh, text in this case uh, defense and uh, select the traps you will use that one is gonna be good Let's configure the text display as well, so let's say that instead of 2 seconds, it's going to be 4 seconds, and the textile is going to be banner. So, let's see how it works. Select the traps you will use, and you can basically instruct the player on that they have to place the traps, and give them the, the option for doing this. So, and let's say now that once you're done, so let's say new logic connection once since I'm player one I need to do it this action. We're well, gonna say okay farewell or start uh yeah, let's go. Okay, that one's good enough. So let's try it. You can see select the traps you will use and I'm ba 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 and now I close it. Let's go! And you can uh, start the way, for example, for a tower defense game or, like I said, a multiplayer fighting game. So that's really all there is to know about the editor manager and all it works. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or in the forums. And well, thanks for watching.